In industrial settings, converting analog voltage signals to current signals requires signal isolators. Typically, signal isolators come with labels detailing its specifications and wiring. As to power connection, the model specifies that terminal 16 should be connected to the positive and terminal 15 to the negative. The input terminals are labeled as 9 for the positive and 10 for the negative. Use a signal generator to test its performance. Connect the red lead from the signal generator to terminal 9 and the black lead to terminal 10. On your signal generator, set the output mode to 0 to 10V DC and configure the desired voltage level. The isolator will process this input and convert it into a corresponding current output. On this model, terminals 1 and 2 are designated for current output. We'll use a digital multimeter to confirm the output signal. Set the multimeter to the milliamp measurement mode and place the test leads on terminals 1 and 2. For a 5 volt input, the current output should be approximately 12 milliamps. The output current is correctly proportional to the input voltage, confirming the signal isolator is functioning as expected.